Our first scroll of honour is in recognition, recognition rather, of his valued contribution as an international celebrant music artist, stage performer, producer, casting personality. We celebrate his passion and his achievement and thank him for his unwavering dedication in the entertainment industry. The first scroll of the evening goes to Mr Tim Beveridge. <laughs> Just a few words. I'm, I've got to an age now where I'm old enough to have second-guessed pretty much every decision I've ever made in my life. Um, but one of the decisions that I don't regret is coming back to New Zealand to pursue a performance career and, um, and just the quality of the relationships and friendships I've made over the years. And it's great to see so many people that I've, I've met and worked with and hopefully are yet to work with. And so uh, it's just great to be here. And thank you very much. And you can hear him on News Talk ZB as well as a talkback host. He does a very, very good job. The next scroll is in recognition and valued contribution as a celebrity uh, musician, musical director of the Queen City Big Band, and for more than two decades he's been with them. We celebrate his passion, his achievement, and thank him for his unwavering dedication to the entertainment industry right here in New Zealand. The scroll is presented to John Carlson. Ruby played piano in a bar in Sydney town. Where all the Yanks came to get the girls and to throw their money around. And they'd lay them honeys down. It's a real honour to be here tonight. I can. It's quite emotional actually uh, to receive this recognition. Um, yeah, it's about 35 years since the Queen City Big Band um, started in 1979. And I'd just like to acknowledge um, a couple of gentlemen that have um, mentored me and helped me uh, over the years, and that's Mr. Bernie Allen, who uh, came and helped us as young guys way back then. And uh, also Mr. Merv Thomas, who took Queen City Big Band for 13 years. Uh, in recent times, Paul Norman, who is a fantastic educator and teacher around Auckland, um, does so much for young people and supports me in my role, grafting away in the background, keep, keeping the Queen City Big Band alive. And most of all, uh, Big Band music and taking it to the young people of today. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for this. Our next uh, scroll gives me extra pleasure because I'm also the patron of the Brotherhood of Auckland Magicians and this is going to a man of magic. This is in recognition of his charitable contributions as a magician, a life member of the Brotherhood of Auckland Magicians. We celebrate his passion, his achievements and thank him for his unwavering dedication to the entertainment industry, 100% he's given all of his life. The scroll is presented to Mr. Stan Gooch, JP. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's uh, a surprise and an honour to receive uh, the scroll for uh, my poor contributions to the, to the entertainment industry. Thank you all so much for dressing up so beautifully and paying all that money for a ticket just to see me getting a scroll of honour. You can queue for my autograph afterwards and you can buy my blank CD entitled Mr. Mystery's Magical Moments. They're $50 each and they're a steal. 
I'm pleased to be and grateful to the variety artists, to this old magician, this sometime actor and administrator for the Brotherhood of Auckland Magicians and Pilgrim Productions has been recognised with an undeserved honour. I'd like to thank my wife and family for their support. I'd like to, but I suppose I have to. <laughs> and in these dark days, these, those performances, those moments of wonder and amazement that lift our spirits are truly important. For they make us forget, if only for a while, the problems that afflict us. But much more, they bring us fresh insights and new perspectives for our own living and for society's benefit. So those makers of song and dance that dazzle our senses, those creators of comedy and tragedy that catch our breath, that art that skims our eyes, and all those performers great and small that add zing and zest to living, I salute all of you. You all deserve an honour. You all deserve a scroll. But I've got one. <laughs> Our next scroll of honour is in recognition of his valued contributions as a celebrity magi musician, ma magician, actually, not magician, and the musical director, his loyal support to the Variety Club of New Zealand, and also we celebrate his passion and achievement and thank him for his unwavering dedication to the entertainment industry in general. The scroll is presented to Mr. Ray E. Thank you all very much. I'd like to thank the Variety Artists Club very much about this. I feel very honoured. Um, do a lot of charity work over the years. Mainly if I let Tom do it on his own, he'd probably start getting it right and I'd be out of a job. So. <laughs> I've always joined him, always enjoyed it, and I still will. So I'll keep it short. Thank you very much. <laughs> Our next scroll of honour is in recognition to a valued contribution as a celebrity radio host, a television producer, a director, a news broadcaster and mentor. We celebrate his passion and his achievement and thank him for his unwavering dedication to the entertainment industry. The scroll is presented to Mr Rick Carlisle, MNZM, JP. Even by the river through the day. I went to Thank you to the variety artists. This is a well kept secret. If it was rugby, I would consider to have been blindsided. I'm in the fire brigade. This is a sort of like a reignition once we get back to station and think it's all over. And in broadcasting, it's sort of like saying a rude word while the red light was on and not knowing it. This has been, this is wonderful. This is great recognition, particularly when journalism was my thing, and that was sort of putting reality together, whilst we all looked with some envy to those who produced light entertainment on television. They all seem to be having much better fun than us. Thank you very much. Our next scroll in recognition for her valued contributions as a producer and artistic director, we celebrate her passion, unwavering dedication to the entertainment industry and very special way of her artistic ability. The scroll is presented to Miss Rachel Rouge. <laughs> I 
ice melts off the farm the wind But the cargo ship pulls out of Townsville Harbor Been barefooting on the strand Drinking beer in a sea view hotel Magnetic Island, you attract me Like the girl in Nelly Bay Across the water I hear talk Hello, I'll be unfamiliar to many of you. I'm Rachel Root. I run a variety show down in Wellington. It's a monthly variety show and we have traditional um, variety performances like um, comedy and, uh, sorry, magic, um, music, but we also try and extend beyond the boundaries. We bring in kapahaka and uh, slam poetry and contemporary dance and we try and meld them all together to create an awesome show that gives the audience memories that are going to give them a smile weeks later. Thank you. There may be to you a lot of uh, scrolls being handed out, but I can assure you it goes from a very long list to a very short list, and this is the shortest list. In recognition for his valued contribution as an international celebrity writer, musician, singer, mentor, he has celebrated his passion through many achievements and over a long period of time. We thank him for his unwavering dedication to the entertainment industry. The scroll is presented to Mr. Steve McDonald. Have a picture taken anyway. Okay, Dave. <laughs> I'm not Steve. <laughs> Steve's busy doing Coronation Street. <laughs> okay, fine, I will. Uh, it's a real pleasure for me to accept this uh, award for Steve McDonald, who was a good friend of mine for many, many years. Uh, anybody who came up in the Wellington music scene back in the 60s and 70s might remember Steve and bands like uh, Dizzy Limit and Timberland. And, uh, he went to uh, England did all that stuff with uh, Shaw Savile. And then he went, um, he went and made records in this country, uh, original records, which he had a lot of trouble selling in this country. He did move one of his albums in America, moved 70,000 copies of that in his rock and roll days. Then he got into uh, Celtic music. And uh, very, yeah, that's right. And he made a great album in his backyard, just like uh, Mr. Sutcliffe and his little shed down in Invercargill in those days. But he did it all himself. Um, tried to get a release here in New Zealand, it was not released. He sent it overseas. Finally, a, a, a record label in Boulder, Colorado picked it up called Ethereal Records and ended up moving over well and a half million copies of the, of the album. It was called Sons of Summer Lead. And he went on to uh, record uh, five more in that series. And he's moved somewhere between about two and five million copies of those his CDs throughout the world. And probably never once been played on the radio in this country, which I think. There's a bit of an indictment on the radio industry out here. Anyway, I'd like to say thanks a lot for Steve. He's going to love this um, because he, no, he hasn't had much recognition in our country. And I uh, hope you get to hear him sometime because he's a wonderful, wonderful singer and a wonderful musician. Thank you. Our next stroll is for recognition to a valued contribution as a celebrity speaker producer, director, and media personality. And I've had dealings with this man over many years. He's interviewed me with my books and Hollywood gossip, and he's a thorough gentleman. We celebrate his passion and his achievement and thank him for his unwavering dedication to the entertainment industry right here in New Zealand. The scroll is presented to Mr. Mark Leishman. Come tumbling down. And this is a, a huge honour. Um, I've never won anything in my life, and I can't believe it. And I'm very, very honoured to receive something, a scroll of honour. It's very fancy. I've got one too now. <laughs> and when I look back, um, I look back at the, the shows I've been involved in from the old days of Top Town. Um, of course, the Wonder Dogs, the Young Farmer contests and the sports and various other bits and pieces. And the radio on the breeze. Um, the, the, the pleasure I get now is I'm on a station called Magic, which is 50s, 60s and 70s music. 
And we play a lot of, thank you, we play a lot of Kiwi music, great Kiwi classics, there's fantastic eras of New Zealand music. And I get the chance, the opportunity to talk with people like, uh, like Tom, I've talked to Tom, uh, Greg Christensen, um, John Hanlon, uh, fantastic, all these great performers, Angela E, as I talked to her the other day, they've all got such wonderful stories, they're great people, and it gives me a, a huge amount of pleasure to be able to reconnect with those people and share them with um, our audience. So I appreciate it very much. I've got to say a special uh, hello and thank you to Gray Bartlett. He's uh, always a fantastic uh, supporter of New Zealand music, and uh, whenever you want an interview, you always know that Gray will come up with someone, and it's always someone really, really interesting. So thanks, Gray, for your support too. So this is uh, very, very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Our last uh, scroll of honour in recognition for his valued contribution as in the music industry, a musical director, an educator, we celebrate his passion, his achievement, and thank him very much indeed for his unwavering dedication to the entertainment industry right here in New Zealand. The Scroll of Honour is presented to Roger Fox, ONZM. Thank you very much. It's a great honour for me to uh, get this award. It's fantastic, actually, that two big bands have been recognised tonight. Yeah. This is fantastic. Uh, when David um, contacted me about this award, I was actually just about to get on a plane to take the big band up to the Monterey Jazz Festival, which we returned last Sunday, and perform. And I must say, it was a monumental effort to get the band up there. And I must say, sometimes I think I really should have kept to my classical career. Because that way I'd have, I'd have got a hell of a lot more funding. <laughs> but uh, but getting something like this, um, seeing the players who went away on the trip, uh, the 300 odd players who've been through the band over the last uh, 43 years, uh, that's really what keeps it going. So thanks very much. Very much appreciate this award. And really, I think it's for everybody who's played on the band over the years and who has supported the band and this art form of big band jazz. Thanks very much.